Bruce Lee is a global legend around the world, but have you heard about his favorite foods? Here are a few of them, enjoy! Some customers come in who really only want one particular table, this one. That's because of who used to claim this as his spot. It's now the stuff of Seattle legend, how martial arts star Bruce Lee often plunked down here, had a curtain shielding his table after he became famous, and always ordered the usual. Of course, his favorite dishes is uh, oyster sauce, beef with rice. Oyster sauce, beef with rice. Yeah. That was his favorite. That's his favorite dessert. You know, if he come by himself, that's all he, he eat. Where's the sauce, beef with rice? How are you going to find? Another family friend remembered how Lee was never a big eater. He enjoyed a wide variety of Chinese dishes and did not shy away from organ meats, especially liver. He loved tofu, and his favorite place to get his fix was the now closed Kung Wo Do Bun Chong in Sham Shui Po. Which Hong Kong eatery serves a dish inspired by Bruce Lee's yellow jumpsuit? Bo Innovation is a groundbreaking Chinese fine dining restaurant serving extreme Chinese cuisine. Chef Alvin Lung is known around the world for his sense of adventure, humor, and rock and roll that he injects into his Hong Kong hotspot. Unlike modern diets, Lee took in a lot of carbs by eating rice and vegetables to fuel his intense workouts. Lee loved Italian food too, especially spaghetti dishes his wife Linda would make for him, along with kanji, with heart, kidney or liver. He also ate steak regularly and even went to McDonald's every now and then. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. One of the most popular and traditional Cantonese food genres is dim sum. A wide array of small dishes that are served from a rolling cart for lunch or tea. Lin Hung Kui Tea House opened in 1926. It's one of the oldest dim sum restaurants in Hong Kong. Packed with locals who come prepared for friendly battle to make sure they get the dim sum they want. He would also drink two protein shakes a day in the late 60s. He usually used wheat germ, peanut butter, banana, eggs, sometimes with a shell, along with brewer's yeast, inositol and lecithin supplements. Linda recalled that he drank his own juice concoctions, made from vegetables, and fruits like apples, celery and carrots prepared in an electric blender. He especially loved carrots, and used them for half of his drink to offset the bitter taste of parsley and leafy green vegetables. And why are you so apprehensive? Apprehensive? Never! Wow! <laughs> 